Welcome to All Caribbean Entrepreneurs. If you've been ready and waiting to take your business digital and get paid online while you sip something strong on the beach, this podcast is for you. We'll hear from the Caribbean's finest entrepreneurs on topics like e-commerce, business development, brand building, social media, their wins and failures. This is the only place in the region helping you navigate the digital age from the Caribbean's perspective. This is Digipreneur FM. And now, let's give it up for the Digiboss himself, Mr. Karan Rose. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Digipreneur FM podcast. I am the host, Mr. Caron Rose. And I hope all of you are doing amazing. I hope the week has been treating you well. Well, I mean, it's only Tuesday, but I hope the week has been going good for you so far. As always, it is a pleasure to get on the mic and talk to the Digipreneur FM podcast, regardless of where you are tuning in from anywhere in the world you are, regardless of where you are right now. I thank you for tuning in because you could be anywhere else, but you're right here listening to the Digipreneur FM podcast and you're tapped into the community. So today, today, today's episode is on a new upcoming workshop series that I'm going to be hosting and facilitating. And it's called the Digipreneur Foundations. <laughs> now, the the park the um the workshop again is this is something that is really interesting. It's real interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I wanted to just jump on and kind of go into a bit more depth as to, you know, what it is, you know, why we're doing it, you know, why it is important and kind of just give you guys that rundown. So the Digipreneur Foundations workshop series is going to be a three part workshop. And it is going, the three parts are, well, the first workshop is on building your digital home. So let's, let's dive into that. Let's talk about that. The digital home, this is going to be your website. And it is a critical piece of building your digital presence. Giving your audience a place to find your content, your products via the search engines and collect the necessary data to further grow your brand. Now, many of us in the Caribbean still have opted not to get websites. And I mean, there are some good reasons as to why some people don't have them. Most notably, when people decide to get websites, the average person is not thinking about doing it themselves. They would much prefer to find somebody who can do it either because, you know, they're, they're a bit afraid of, of what building a website means in terms of the technicalities behind it. So they, they are not, they, they think that it's, you know, a big mountain and they got to get someone else to do it. And then there are those that just don't have the time to build their own website, so they'd rather pay somebody to do it. And I mean, both are very valid reasons, right? Now, what stops people from continuing on and getting the websites is when they go and they find a developer, they get hit with a price, and that price may be way out of their budget at that particular point in time. So like I was on a strategy call just yesterday, and the client really wanted a website. As a matter of fact, they invested in a website. Um, and they invested a lot of money only for it not to get finished. And now they're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on with the developer and how they could recoup their funds because the developer just fell off the face of the earth. And, you know, they never got, they never got the website done, right? And they wanted to try again, but every other developer that they reached out to, the prices were like 8,000 TT dollars, 10,000 TT dollars. And just for the folks, you know, who are in another country wondering what does 10,000 TT work out to, uh, 10,000 TT to US is like 1,500 US, right? So as of right now, 
um, that is out of budget. But then because they don't necessarily know what websites do, they don't know how it's supposed to bring in uh, the return on investment. And I think these are some valid things that, you know, the workshop about the website, you know, needs to address, needs to address, and it will address because it's, it's, you, you get a website. And then what? A lot of times people get a completed website, you know, whether they, you know, build it themselves or whether they, you know, pay for it. But then it's like, but but then what? Now that we have this website, you know, what what does it do? It's not doing anything. It's just, it's just laying there. It's not doing anything for me. So I've spent this money. I've given all this time. And what is this thing really supposed to do? So your website, right? If you feel like, you're going to people and the price is too high. I always look at things like like one of two ways. It's either you have the money and you have the resources and funds to pay for somebody to do it, or if you don't, you have you figure out how you could find the time to learn how to build it yourself. So this workshop is going to be teaching people the skill of how to build their own website, no coding necessary, but you're going to be able to build your own e-commerce and blog ready website using WordPress. The reason why I uh, teach people how to build on WordPress is not because there's no other, you know, great softwares on the market, but here in the entire Caribbean region, the payment gateways that work and on all of the other uh, uh, content management system platforms to build your websites like a uh, Wix, a Squarespace, a Shopify, a Joomla, not all of the payment gateways work in the Caribbean. So another big challenge that we have is, you know, people go and they get their websites done. And then when it comes time to, you know, getting paid, they realize, oh, wait a minute, how do I get paid? So they, they figure out building the website first, they jump on Wix, they jump on Squarespace, they do all that stuff. And then when it comes time to getting paid here in the Caribbean, then they realize they can't get paid and then they run into another big another big problem where you've wasted time and you've wasted money and you're sending people to a platform where you can't get paid and that and that isn't a good place to be in so i teach people on how to build their websites on wordpress because wordpress is the only platform in the caribbean that works with all payment gateways so there's no limitation for um, us on the payment gateway side with wordpress we can, it works with all of the Caribbean payment processors like a WePay, like a First Atlantic Commerce, um, like Sagicores, if you're in Jamaica, Sagicores Payment Gateway, and also NCCB, uh, NL, NCB Bank in Jamaica. Um, their processors work on WordPress. So it doesn't matter what country you are in, um, anywhere that at least First Atlantic Commerce or WePay operates, anywhere in the Caribbean that they operate, um, you're going to be able to use these gateways to get paid on your website. So that solves a big problem. And the Caribbean payment gateways don't work on Squarespace. Uh, only one works on Wix, which is the First Atlantic Commerce with their TilloPay uh, partnership and integration. But then you have to go through the bank, open up a merchant ID account, and there's still a bit of logistics in order for that to, to work for you on Wix. And the costs may not be affordable for any and everybody, right? So that's something to check out. Anyways, so we're going to be teaching you how to build your own Word, your own WordPress website. Um, it's going to look and feel professionally done. All the Caribbean payment gateways are going to be able to work with it. And on top of which, you will not need to code. So there's no coding involved in building the website. But then you're also going to learn what a website is in 2021 and beyond and how it can help you from a business perspective. So what I tell everybody is, you know, put yourself in the role of a consumer. We're all consumers first before we are business people, right? We're somebody's consumer. Any problem or question or query that we have, if we want to find if if we want to find a a solution to a problem or we or we're looking for a product, what's the first thing you do when you want to figure out? You know, you have a problem and you want a solution. What's the first thing you do? We Google it, and 
uh, the last study that I've seen uh, has over 74, 82%, between 74 and 82% of sales begin with a Google search. So what happens is, is when we jump on Google, we type in our problem or we're looking for a particular product, whoever shows up on the first page with the solution to our problem is who gets the business. They either get the lead or they get the sale. And if you are e-commerce ready, then we can simply book the consultation and pay digitally. Or if we're looking for a product, we add that product to our cart, we make the purchase, and then it gets delivered to our doorsteps, right? Or you go and pick it up, however, whatever your delivery option is. That being said, if your business does not have a website, you're not showing up on Google. You're not showing up on the number one way that sales and leads are happening. So how is it that you plan to succeed in a world where everything is going digital? And the argument that people have in the Caribbean is, oh, well, we crave human connection. So, you know, we not everybody wants to be digital. The, 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 <laughs> My response to the to the people who think that, you know, businesses don't all need to go digital because we crave human connection. Listen, the number one thing we complain about in the entire Caribbean region is customer service and the lack of it. We also complain about the inefficiencies of every single institution, company. We complain about the long wait times in the banks, in the queues, in the government buildings. We complain about businesses not answering the phone. We complain about the human experience at every single point. We complain about it. That being said, to build better customer service models we need to start integrating technology into our business to provide a better consumer experience. We need to. We need to at every single point because as of right now, the human experience is not a good one in the Caribbean when it comes to customer service and customer experience. We don't provide good service. All right? So having your website having it be e-commerce ready so people can book their consultations or purchase products, get information. When you are creating content via your website and learning how to optimize it for the search engines, when people are Googling or they're using Bing or any of the search engines and your stuff comes up, you increase the chances of getting a lead or a sale by 72 to 84%. All right? It all starts with a Google search, and whoever shows up on the first page is who typically gets the business. And again, folks, when you do a Google search, you realize that all of the information that comes up is to a website. So if you do not have a website, then you are going to struggle moving forward. So the workshop, like I said, is a three-part series. The first workshop is about building your digital home. That's getting your website up and running, learning how it works, learning what it can do for you. In this website, I'm going to show you how to get your domain name, get your hosting, how to purchase a professionally done theme, getting it installed on WordPress, installing the WordPress um, software, and then showing you how to customize the website. Right, We have two hours, so this is going to be a high to mid-level workshop where you're going to be seeing everything come together. I will not create a finished product because, I mean, in two hours I won't be able to, but I'd be able to get some good things done for you guys to see. And then this is going to be the entryway into the new course that's going to be coming out within the next two to three weeks that will go into more in, into into more details of building your own website. But at least in this workshop, a lot of things are going to be answered. You're going to see how to go about building your website. And this is going to be an amazing starting point for you, for people who have never, one, built a website, have a lot of, you know, they, they have this 
misconception of a website, you know, how to go about building it, what a website actually is, how does it fit into your business. So we're going to be covering a wide variety of these things, how to go about building it, you know, what it does and the capabilities. Um, and this is to make sure that you guys go out and get these things done, right? So the first workshop, building your digital home, building your website. That being said, the second workshop and all of these workshops build on top of each other. If you are, if you already have a, a piece, like if you already have a website and you don't necessarily have to come to the first one, you could jump into the second one, right? But I'm structuring it so people have a starting point and they can kind of grow with us, right? The second workshop is on digital market research, the digital insights that we can collect and extract from the search engines. So this website, you're gonna learn how to collect the data from your website and also extract data from the search engines and how we can use the data to power our content and business development strategies and create more targeted ads. So in the Caribbean, we don't like the word data. Nobody uses data, right? And we don't tap into all of the data points that we have available to us right now. We just don't do that. You are going to learn how we can tap into and extract the data so that we can better understand our consumers and our competitors. So being able to see um, where our consumers are, who is searching for the things that are within our space. So what I would tell my clients to do is we make a long list of the products and services, the generic names for these things, not the fancy names we give them, but what are the generic names and, and products of services that are within our niche? We make stock of all of our competitors. We make a nice, long, healthy list so that when we start to go through the tools, we can start to see what the data is on those particular points, on those particular things. So let's just say I'm a bakery, right? I'd make a note of bakery, muffins, cupcakes, uh, cinnamon rolls, um, catering, uh, then my, the names of my competitors, anything within my niche, the products, the services, uh, my competitors. And then I could jump into the tools that we're going to be going through on that day, and we're going to be able to see things like what cities are searching for our products or services or the competitors. That way, Knowing the city allows us to be more targeted when we're doing ads. It also allows us to see, to do some deeper research. Let's just say if you wanted to open up a location or a second location or you wanted to do, you know, an offline event, knowing which cities are actively searching for the things in your space will give you some guidance as to what, uh, what cities you could be doing that offline, that offline event in. We are also going to be able to see what are the questions and queries that people are searching for within our niche, within a specific country. We will also be able to find out exactly what our competitors are doing digitally so that we can understand how they are being found and how, the, and how our digital audience is searching for them. And that will, again, guide our business strategy. That will allow us to figure out, you know, uh, what tactics we use online, you know, who owns the digital market share. We're going to be able to see a wide variety of things that guide our business development and marketing strategies, right? So I want to show you the tools that you need in order to start extracting the data from the search engines. And then from our websites, the tools that we would that we would um, implement onto our websites to collect the data so that we can see, you know, when we create content, when we create blogs, podcasts, videos, and we have those things embedded on our website, um, we're going to be showing you the tools that collect the data to say, hey, this is how you're performing on the Bing search engine. This is how you're performing on the Google search engine. These are the key words and queries that people are using to generate um impressions on the search engine these are the pages that are driving the most traffic to you um and then we we, we will be diving into our crms to see exactly which piece of content and which platforms 
are bringing us the most subscribers to our platform. All right. So there's a wide variety of tools that we implement into our website that collect a ton of data that, again, helps us be more strategic in developing our business and how we market. So the digital market research workshop is going to build on top of the website workshop. So the first one, you have the website. Second, we're going to dive into implementing the tools, learning about the data, you know, how can we extract the data, what tools to implement on our website, what um, what type of data the website is going to give us to be more to be more strategic, right? And that's going to be the second workshop. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's actually one of my favorite workshops to do because, again, we just don't use um, data and people still think that our websites are brochures, so we just upload a product information and it's not e-commerce ready and, or we upload our business information and our contact information. And then the, web, the website just becomes a static digital real estate and the Google algorithms or the search engine algorithms bury static websites. They don't want to see static websites. They want to see dynamic websites. They want websites that are constantly being updated with content. And so, again, learning how to get this data and then turn it into content is really what is going to establish your business as a thought leader and also um, appear in front of the questions and queries that people are typing in into the search engines. That leads me into the third workshop. The third workshop is the Epic Blog. So the Epic Blog uh, workshop is going to dive into how to be discoverable. So when you Google anything, the first thing that comes up is links to a web page. In this workshop, we're going to be teaching you how to create a blog with the types of content, um, whether it be audio, um, audio or, or video content. We're going to teach you how to optimize it so that you can be found via the search engines. We're going to be teaching you how to, you know, embed different types of content, you know, your infographics, your videos, your images, your audio content. And then we're also going to be teaching you how to properly distribute the content on social media. So there's a wide variety of ways that the search engines index content. They index audio content, they index written content, they index video content, they index images. We are going to be showing you how to construct your blogs or your your website posts. We're going to be teaching you, you know, the top types of posts to create. And we're going to be using the data that we would have collected from the previous workshop. We're going to be showing you how to turn that into content that gets found and then how to optimize it. So that when people are searching for, again, they're, they're jumping on Google, they type in, you know, uh, cupcakes or how to make cupcakes. You want to be able to show up with a blog that has, you know, five ways to create to create uh, cupcakes or five ways to create cupcakes with no milk or dairy, right? And these are things you might have created knowing that people were searching for it, but you only would have knew they were searching for it if you knew how to collect the data. So, you want to be able to show up with a blog or even if it's a video, you want to learn how to optimize um, a post on your website with an embedded video to it so people can, so you can show up on YouTube, but then you're also, also your website can show up with an embedded video as well. You also want to learn, we're going to be teaching you how to get your images ranking on the search engines and how to optimize those things because that's a big thing that people don't know how to do is getting their images to show up on the search engine. So we're going to be diving into that. So those are the three key workshops. And again, it, this, this series is called the Digipreneur Front Foundations because with these, th with these three critical pieces of information, you are now going to be primed to start building on top of that. You're going to have a website, and that website is going to be able to collect data it's going to allow you to show up on the search engines, the number one way that people um, start a sales process. Then it's also going to be able to um, go collect your data, show up, for, show up on the search engines, but then also sell your products and services. So you're going to be able to, uh, to sell your products, integrate a payment processor or a, a service that allows you to take bookings and paid bookings at that, right? Then the second workshop, 
you know, how do we collect the data? How do we extract the data? How do we get all that data so we understand what people want, what our competitors are doing, and then turn that into a strategy? Then that third workshop is creating the content on our website. How do we, you know, put the information on our website? How do we optimize it so that we are found via the search engines? And those are going to be those three workshops that build a healthy foundation. Once we do those things correctly, you can start the journey to digital success. And then we could use social media to drive traffic to our platforms. Now, remember, just a week ago, there was a massive outage of the Facebook programs, right? So Facebook was down, WhatsApp was down, Instagram was down. Now, that that affected people who only did business on those platforms, right? If you had your website or you had your email list or your notification list, if you had those things, you could have still conducted business. Nothing would have slowed down for you, right? But if your business was only on social media, well, essentially you had no business for that day. And there were people who were shitting bricks because they didn't even know if it was ever going to come back up, all right? Some people get get blocked, suspended, or lose their account altogether due to it being hacked, right? So you don't want to just, you know, build your business on rented land. You want to be able to own your own real estate. And these things that we're going to be going through in the workshop are geared towards ownership, owning your own digital real estate, learning how to collect the data, um, creating your own content on your own platforms to be found. And there's a big difference between, you know, being found via the search engines versus on Instagram. Everybody knows what an impression is, right? The difference between impressions on social media and impressions via your website, the search engines is two completely different things. So when we are scrolling on social media, if you're on Instagram and you're just scrolling through, every time you scroll and you pass the post counts as an impression for that person, right? You might not have ever looked at the post. You might not have read the caption. You might not have even stopped to look at the image properly or the video, but that counts as an impression because it showed up on your feed. However, an impression via your website means that somebody actively typed in a question or query on the search engine, and then you were shown as a result. So an impression via the search engines is 10 times more valuable because at least you know that people had to do an action. People had to take action in order to even see your content. If your impressions are low, that means, so if your impressions on your website are really low, that means you are A, not creating things that people are actively searching for. And if you're not showing up for things people are searching for, you're never going to be seen. And it could also mean that you're not optimizing correctly. So maybe you are creating the right content, but you have no idea how to optimize it or get it or, or, or create the right headlines um, in order to be discovered. So people are just not finding your content when they're typing in the, when they're typing in the questions or queries. So low impressions on your website means that people you're either not creating the right things, so people are not searching for it, or two, it's not optimized correctly. But an impression on your website is way more valuable than an impression on social media because people had to take action, all right? So each workshop is 30 US. So in to a total of 90 US for all three workshops, okay? Or 200 TT per workshop. If you take all three workshops, however, you could use the code foundation, and I'll have this in the show notes, but you could use the code foundation and that will knock off $15 or 15 US or $100 off the total cost of, of, of the workshops, all right? So you guys can save a bit of money if you guys take all three workshops. The first workshop starts this Saturday, October 20, October 30th, sorry. October 30th, 10 a.m. <clears throat> 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, Atlantic Standard Time. So if you're in Trinidad, um, yeah, you're good. Uh, if you're in Jamaica, that would be 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. if you are in Jamaica, all right? Um. The second workshop would be, um, let me, hold on, let me just double check. Hold on one second. 
The first workshop, sorry, <laughs> bear with me. The first workshop is going to be October 23rd. That's this Saturday. October 23rd is the Build Your Digital Home workshop. The second workshop is October 30th. That is the Digital Market Research workshop. That's October 30th. And the epic blog, Learning How to Build Your Website Content, that workshop is on November 6th. So again, the first workshop is this Saturday, October 23rd. That is a Build Your Digital Home, 10 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. The second workshop is October 30th. That is the Digital Market Research Workshop. The third workshop is on November 6th. That is the epic blog, Creating Website Content. All right. So all three are on Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. The recordings will be available as well. You guys will be able to go back and review the videos um, when they are finished. Okay, so don't don't worry if you come in late or you might have missed it. However, you want to be able to be there on time because you want to be able to ask your questions and be there live. All right. So that's the beauty of being live. You'll be able to ask your particular questions. Okay. I hope to see you there. Spots are limited. So you want to be able to jump in as soon as you can. The links to the workshops will be available in the show notes as well so that you can go and register. And the code, the discount code to save some money will be in the, will be in the show notes as well. All right. So I hope to see you in the Digipreneur Foundations workshop. And again, I just wanted to jump on here, talk to the community, give you guys a bit more insights as to you know what this workshop is about why it's important, how this thing really helps. I really want people to start, um, you know, being digital because being digital allows for scale. People can now service or people can do business with you at any point in time and you'll be able to increase the awareness and be able to sell um, all over the country. And again, depending on your products and services, you'll be able to sell globally as well and participate in the worldwide economy, all right? Can't do that if you're not digital. That is it from me, folks. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Shoot me a DM, Karen Rose, on any social media platform or jump on KarenRose.com and you can shoot me a message via the contact page as well. Have yourself a wonderful week. I hope to see you this Saturday, October 23rd for the very first workshop to build your digital home workshop. That is it from me, folks. Take You've been listening to the Digiboss, Karan Rose. We hope your notepad was filled after this episode. Make sure to like, rate, and review the show. The learning doesn't stop, folks. And to make sure you don't miss any gems from the Digiboss, go over and follow him on all social media platforms at Karan Rose. Folks, don't just sit there with a notepad. We need you to implement at least one thing into your business before the next episode. That's the only way your business levels up. Thanks for listening to Digipreneur FM. Now, Go be great.